Welcome to the part two of our special series in this episode of Let's Talk Corinth. In our previous video, we discussed where all of our money comes from. In this video, we're going to be outlining in detail where all of our money goes. Let's explore where the money goes. The budget is divided into several key areas. First up is the general fund. This is the main operating fund for the city and covers everyday services that don't fall into other specific funds. It includes essential services like police, fire, parks, street maintenance, community events, and administrative functions. Police and fire services represent the largest portion of the general fund at 15 million or about 53%. Next, we have the Debt Service Fund. This fund handles the bonds we issue and takes care of paying back both the principal and interest on these bonds for capital projects. This totals about five and a half million dollars. The Utility Fund manages the city's water and wastewater systems. It covers everything from water treatment and distribution to wastewater collection and system repairs. A big chunk of this, or about $8 million, goes to payments made to the Upper Trinity Water District and the City of Denton, which takes up about 44% of the fund's total expenditures. Then there's the Stormwater Fund, which deals with maintaining and improving our drainage systems, managing flood risk, and implementing stormwater control measures like retention basins and drainage pipes. Expenses to keep the system running account for about $514,000 or just under half the fund. Sales tax funds come from an additional tax on goods and services within the city. The money goes towards economic development, which would be about $1.18 million or about half that fund. Also crime control, which is about $750,000 or about 30% of that fund and fire prevention and emergency management, which is about $589,000 or about 23%. Finally, we have the special revenue funds. These are financial resources that are restricted by law, city ordinance, or contractual agreements for specific purposes. They are kept separate from the general fund to ensure that they are used as intended. This year, our city is zeroing in on six key initiatives to boost the quality of life for everyone. We're focusing on making sure our city grows in a balanced and meaningful way. First up is infrastructure. As Corinth continues to grow, we need to keep up with improvements to our roads, parks, water systems, and wastewater systems. Many cities are dealing with the challenge of aging infrastructure, especially with rising construction and maintenance costs. For us, maintaining and operating our infrastructure is a big task. With $334 million needed for water and wastewater, and $87 million needed for drainage, and $237 needed for roads, parks, and facilities. To tackle this, our budget is prioritizing the rehabilitation over replacement. This means we're focusing on fixing and restoring what we have in order to extend its lifespan, rather than starting from scratch. For instance, we're setting aside $300,000 for street maintenance, another $300,000 for pipeline upkeep, and $100,000 for ADA ramp repairs. We know that in the future we'll need even more funding to keep up with our aging infrastructure. The budget this year does not include any new debt for infrastructure, but our capital improvement plan is already laying out over $61 million in projects between 2025 and 2029. Next year alone, we've got $10.9 million in projects lined up, including construction and road improvements. Here are some of those highlights. We're working on a redesign in this area to boost safety, functionality, and the overall look of our planned downtown district. In collaboration with Denton County, Shady Shores, and Lake Dallas, this project will greatly improve the connectivity between these cities. We're moving overhead power lines underground, not only to enhance the area's appearance, but also to increase the safety. We'll be repairing structural issues, fixing welds, and replacing any damaged parts to extend the tank's lifetime. Upgrading this lift station will improve its performance and reliability, helping it meet current and future needs. This project will upgrade the existing lift station to ensure it remains reliable for the next 20 years, including 
improvements on electrical systems and motor rebuilds. We're developing a plan to handle current and future wastewater volumes effectively, making sure the system meets both current standards and future needs. A significant priority this year is increasing funding for our public safety. We know that one of the biggest challenges is offering competitive salaries to attract and keep skilled professionals. That's why we've allocated about $500,000 this year specifically to address public safety pay. As a result, we've increased the starting salary for firefighters and police patrol officers from $65,000 to $70,000. This follows last year's significant compensation increase of over $1 million. We're also boosting our public safety technology and equipment budget by $348,000. This extra funding will help us improve emergency response times, invest in the latest technology and equipment, and provide better training for our first responders. By focusing on better pay, additional technology, and investing in recruitment and retention, we aim to continue bringing in talented individuals for these crucial roles. While we want to ensure that they have the compensation and support that they need to perform their best, our commitment to improving public safety will help us maintain a well-prepared, effective team of first responders dedicated to protecting and serving our community. Taking care of our environment is crucial for keeping Corinth healthy and vibrant in the long run. This year, we're dedicating over $1 million to these initiatives to make a real impact. Our budget will support expanding our parks, planting more trees, improving our right-of-ways, and hiring seasonal park maintenance workers, plus a new parks and recreation director. We're excited about these upgrades and cannot wait to enhance the spaces that mean so much to our community. Here's what's in store. You've been asking for them, and we are thrilled to announce that we are moving forward with building two or three pickleball courts at the community park. It's going to be a great addition for everyone who loves that game. Mulholland Park is getting a makeover with new, modern playground equipment. We're focusing on making sure that these play areas are fun and accessible for kids of all ages and abilities. We plan to rebuild the baseball infields and soccer fields, replacing shade structures, updating the weather alert system, and install new backstop fencing. These facelifts will improve the park for all of our sports and recreational activities. We're resurfacing the basketball courts at the Woods Park with a new specialized court surface. This will restore and enhance the playing surface, making it better for all of our basketball players. We're adding new trees and landscaping throughout our parks, city facilities, and public right-of-way to boost the natural beauty of our green spaces. These upgrades aren't just about making things look nicer. They're about building spaces that bring us together, promote healthy living, and give us places to relax and have fun. Our parks will soon be buzzing with energy and offering vibrant spots where everyone can gather, play, and enjoy the great outdoors. We'd love for you to be a part of this exciting transformation. Share your ideas, join in on community events related to park upgrades, or even get involved with the Keep Corinth Beautiful Board. Your feedback is super important to us, and we will continue to make sure these spaces work for everyone in our community. Over the past few years, our city has faced rising costs for maintaining and upgrading our water and wastewater systems. These systems are crucial for making sure that we have clean water and an effective wastewater treatment system. Think of the utility fund like a business that doesn't make a profit. The cost we pay on our bill is directly related to the cost Corinth pays for water and wastewater services. We set our rates to cover the actual cost of providing these services. Right now, a big chunk of our budget, about $8 million or just under half, goes solely to purchasing water from the Upper Trinity Regional Water District and treating wastewater by the City of Denton. It includes handling annual increases due to inflation and raising costs by these entities. To keep up with these growing costs and fund necessary improvements, we need to raise rates by 3% for both water and wastewater services. Even though this is the current inflation rate, we know this can be concerning. So we want to explain why it's necessary and how it will impact you. Here's where the funds will go. $606,000 to cover rising costs for water purchases and wastewater treatment, $148,000 
for pay increases for our dedicated water and wastewater staff. $629,000 to maintain and upgrade our infrastructure to prevent leaks and system failures. $121,000 for new technologies and equipment to improve efficiency and reliability. $20,000 to ensure we're meeting environmental regulations and standards. $70,000 to enhance customer service and support systems. We understand that adjusting rates affects our personal budgets, so we've teamed up with the Texas Council of Governments to offer a low-income household water assistance program. If you're having trouble, please reach out to our customer service department to learn about the support available. You can find more information and apply at cityofcorinth.com forward slash water assist. The monthly increase for our average water user here in Corinth will be $4.10 a month. While rate increases can be challenging, they're essential for keeping our water and wastewater systems running smoothly. By investing in these services now, we're making sure our community stays healthy and well served in the future. Thank you for your understanding and support as we make these important adjustments. Your cooperation helps us keep our water and wastewater systems reliable and effective. The Commons at Agora has truly become a gym in our city. It's turned into a vibrant spot where the arts come alive and people of all ages gather to enjoy a variety of events. This year, our budget includes $204,000 to support 17 different events at Agora, making sure there's a steady stream of free activities for everyone, from live music and movie nights to cultural festivals, Agora has become the go-to place for all things artistic and cultural in our community. We're excited to announce that starting in 2025, we'll be introducing sensory-friendly events at Agora. These events are designed to be accessible for people of all ages and abilities. Stay updated on all upcoming events. Be sure to download the Agora at Corinth mobile app from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. But Agora isn't just about fun and culture. It's also set to be a major economic booster for our city. It's going to attract visitors, support our local businesses, and provide new opportunities for artists and performers. As Agora anchors our downtown district, it's not only enhancing our community's cultural life, but also driving economic growth and creating a key destination in our city. As a community, we need your support to keep this momentum going. Whether you're attending events, volunteering, or even sponsoring an event, your involvement is crucial to the success of Agora and our downtown district. Together, we can create a space that truly reflects our city's spirit and values and brings joy and inspiration to our community for years to come. In Corinth, we're all about thoughtful development that enhances the quality of life for everyone. Our goal is to find a balance between fostering economic growth and preserving the unique charm and natural beauty of our community. While growth is going to be essential for our future, we also know that growth can bring challenges like more traffic and increased demands on our infrastructure. To tackle these challenges head-on, we're investing over $560,000 in comprehensive studies. These studies will help us get ahead of potential issues by examining key areas around Agora and throughout the city. We're looking into infrastructure capacity, traffic patterns, environmental impacts, and needed updates to our development codes. By diving into the data and trends, we aim to continue to create smart strategies that support sustainable development while keeping our community's character and quality of life intact. And speaking of development, we're also focused on building a safer and more connected community. Earlier this year, we launched a survey to get feedback from pedestrians, drivers, and cyclists on bicycle safety. Our goal is to improve safety measures and boost awareness for all types of transportation. As a result, we're setting aside $160,000 in the budget to develop and enhance our bicycle infrastructure. This plan is all about making cycling a practical option for getting around which will help reduce traffic congestion, promote public health, and support environmental sustainability. We hope you enjoyed these special episodes of Let's Talk Corinth, where we took a deep dive into our city's 2024 and 2025 budget. Think of the budget as more than numbers on a page. It's our strategic roadmap for the future showcasing our commitment to meeting the needs of our community and building a stronger, and more resilient city. So what does all of this mean for us? 
The budget touches every part of our daily life. It affects the quality of services we receive, the safety of our neighborhoods, and the infrastructure we rely on every day. In short, it's a key player in shaping our community's well-being and future success. Transparency is also a big deal for us. As a public document, the budget is all about showing us how our tax dollars are being put to work. The City Council is dedicated to making sure we use our funds wisely and effectively. We encourage you to check out the budget details and get involved in the discussions. Your voice matters in shaping the future of our city. Thank you for joining us to learn about this year's budget. Together, we can build a brighter future for Corinth.